Hello and welcome to Survival Fountain of Youth. The game starts you off with a prologue that explains the story, but in a nutshell, you're part of a ship crew that's on their way to find the Fountain of Youth. However, your ship sinks along the way. And having just finished playing for three hours, let me tell you first and foremost that this game is awesome. I've played over a hundred hours in Sons of the Forest by now, and I already feel like there's more to craft, build, and discover in this game that's been really completely flying under the radar. I mean, just look at these screenshots. There's boats, buildings, animals, weapons, story, cooking, survival mechanics, crafting, and lore. So without further ado, let's begin. All right, welcome everyone. So basically there was a shipwreck and now I'm here. Really interesting start though, it, it told me to select two items. I selected a leather bag and this iron axe, but there was like sword, flint, all kinds of stuff that you can choose from. It's like uh, naked and afraid, right? <laughs> you can choose two items to bring with you. All right, wow, look at the landscape here. Graphics, pretty good. Performance, not bad. Looks like we got a crab here. Is this food? Oh, I'm gonna catch you. I got him. Raw crab, put him in the inventory. Blueprints were unlocked. Food, water, and um, <laughs> indigestion. Okay, well, maybe I can cook them later if I figure out how to make a fire. What's this? It is... Oh, I can select resources to harvest. Okay, so instead of actually, like, just doing stuff to it, you just, like, open it like it's a loot container. Green coconut. <laughs> We're in the stage of every game where you just have to, like, get everything. Oh, jeez. That, uh, didn't seem that bad. Oh, that- there was a timer on that as well. Okay, the weather affects your health. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, harvesting those materials takes time. So maybe that's why you have to go into the inventory box, because they're trying to restrict you from doing too much lest you, uh, use up all your time in the day. Look at this. 25 minutes. Okay, I- where is the time? I guess, you know, it's like the 1800s, I don't have a watch. Maybe in a couple decades I'll get one. Oh, top left corner there. Sunshine. Oh, that's the- the day. Day and night thing, so the sun might be about to set. Also, I think the hand there on the top- Wait, if I hit C, what is that? Oh, yes, okay, burning sun. My clothes are not protecting. Full recovery when the bar is clear. The bar is actually almost full right now. Sunburn grade one. We got to get out of the sun. Let's head over to these trees over here. Okay, so so far my experience is that everything wants to kill me. The sun, the sticks, <laughs> the leaves, the rocks. I guess we just live here now. So th there's an interesting, like, there was a combat tutorial where you can do, like, like a, a parrying attack and blocking and stuff like that. Okay, I need to make uh, coconut water. How do I do that? Okay, so there's like a blueprint section, coconut water craft. Took 10 minutes. So now I have coconut water in my inventory. Eat that. And uh, we're doing better now. What about the crab? Uh, okay, we could actually use the sticks that I found to make fire starters. Melee weapons, ranged weapons. Oh, geez. Machines, buildings. <laughs> a campfire is a machine. Okay, I suppose let's try the fire starter. Oh, here's my watch right here. <laughs> the day-night cycle here. So... Uh, which wait, we're going probably clockwise, right? So we're getting toward night. Yeah, it would be nice to get a fire here. Yeah, this little nook right here would be a good uh, survival. Oh, what was that? Do we have natives here? I think we... Oh, no, that's chicken. Oh, it has a... Hmm, location features. Wind, rain, pests, and no sun. Place it down anywhere. Now we need some more sticks. Oh! Oh, what is this? Oh, nope, 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 nope. I've disturbed the native wildlife here. Maybe I should go back. Is that the beach over there? Well, it kind of looks like there's a lot of shade over here. Okay, maybe I just... I, I got too far ahead of myself. <laughs> we went straight inland, and uh, we probably should stay at the beach here for a couple days. I blame it on the crab. I chased the crab directly off the beach, and I probably missed a whole bunch of stuff here. What do we got? Anything from the shipwreck? Okay, pile of scrap that I can cut down to harvest some resources, I guess. There we go. <laughs> I got a new goal to sleep. It's important to set goals in life. Okay, let's uh, let's go to this little shady area right here and make a new campfire. Okay, we got the campfire now. Just in time, it's officially nightfall. And, oh yes, roasted crab. Also thirsty, jeez. Oh, and the fire starter has like a health bar. Okay, so that's gonna degrade eventually. Is this the durability on my ax that's already like completely shot? Okay, what's next? Okay, we gotta sleep. Sleep six hours or more. That's what the journal wants me to do. Yeah, that was my goal. I set a goal to sleep. A place to sleep, build a primitive bed of leaves. Place the resources, build. Good. 
interact, sleep for six hours. There we go. Oh yes, morning, nice. Uh, harvest a stone now. Aha, here we go. Good, now we... What do we do now? Stone, check recipes, stone axe, stone cutter. Actually, I really like this inventory UI kind of system here. It's not bad now that I got the hang of it. I do like it when I can do everything with the keyboard and I don't have to like move the mouse to kind of like press every single button. Okay, so we get the new stone axe. Oh my God, it's so pathetic. It's so refreshing to not have to just sit there and whack every single thing. You can just like go up to it, hit harvest. It's, it's kind of nice, I like it. What is this over here? Chamomile. I can harvest some of that. <laughs> Just wasting the whole day picking tea leaves. Okay, we need to make a wooden spear now. Presumably out of the stone. We got ranged weapons. Nope, that's arrows. Uh, nope. Probably out of the, the long sticks, probably, right? Yep, so... Wooden harpoon, wooden spear. 40 minutes to do that. Oh, getting some achievements there, too. Alright, let's check on this one. Oh, no. By my toolbar is uh, I only get two item slots. Maybe I need to craft some sort of a belt or a new backpack or something in order to be able to unlock more hotbar slots. Oh, crouch and sneak up to a crab. I see. All right, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna just have to blindly throw it. Got him, right in the claw. <laughs> The claw is full of vital organs, I've heard. We're harvesting broad leaves from the fern here. What do we gotta make out of that? A, ooh, a bandage. Holy crap, look at the stuff we can make here. <laughs> leaf sandals, a portable box, a leaf hat. <laughs> I need more leaves. Oh, level one and fire starting. Okay, so there's um, action skills then. Roasted crab that we skewered a little earlier. Some steamed bandages. Hide in the shade because I'm a little bit sunburned still. It says craft a mapping charcoal. I don't know what that is. To draw a map, I need a writing tool. A charcoal will be fine. I can make it from small sticks on a campfire. Oh, I see. Oh, the fire's out again. Crap, it takes like an hour to start the fire. Oh, okay, so every stick is like an hour and 18. Oh, here we go, I'm learning how to add the fuel to the fire. Okay, I don't think we'd quite need that much. Okay, just eating some coconut, drinking some coconut water. That sets us up pretty nicely. We still have low energy. Okay, uh, restored by sleeping and energy boosting foods. Reignite the stupid fire. Failed to ignite, great. Okay, so this could take a long time. Oh boy. There we go. Ah, the chamomile juice is uh, for indigestion. I'll make some of that. But it was telling me to make, oh yes, mapping charcoal. There we go. What do I need for this? Ah, sticks. I put all the sticks in the fire. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, now we gotta find the cartographer tree. Basically, it just you need to climb into a tall tree so that you can see a larger portion of the island. And that one looks like the one. Do I have to climb it? Oh. Oh wait, place ladder. I, j I guess I just had this massive tall ladder it just hanging out in my backpack okay why do i get the sense that i'm gonna fall off of this by accident oh look at this nest here oh wait throwing mode i can throw my hatchet okay bird nest oh yes eggs give me all the eggs and worms i guess so and feathers just take everything right so um great place for mapping hit e Here's the map. Start the mapping process to find resources. Okay, mapping, current altitude 75, mapping range 225, process three hours. Start mapping the island. It's too dark. No. <laughs> okay, there we go, and cloudy today. Can I do the map now? Here we go. Took three hours. Whoa, here we go. Really cool. It kind of reminds me of like Assassin's Creed where you have to go around the map, get a vantage point, and then you can kind of see stuff that's nearby. It actually tells me where every single thing is. A short-eared dog. Is that like the, the Tasmanian Devil Wolverine kind of thing? Eucalyptus, peccary, hibiscus. Tobacco, eucalyptus, tobacco, coconut palms, date palms, crabs. I think this is the beach then over here. And we're on the island of hope. Okay. Hey, tutorial completed. I can now follow the story or explore the world on my own. Right, because the story is like to find the fountain of youth. Okay, don't break your legs, please. It's also just looking through things. You can make like a large box. This accommodates a certain weight full of units. There's all these machines like dehydrators, distillers, workbench, chemistry station, 
there's um, just stuff that you have to find. It actually tells you what you need to find in order to unlock that recipe. So like a split log, a rope, and some clay. And uh, you know, if we continue mapping the place out, we should be able to find all the resources we need. Here we go, we got some coconuts. Oh, I don't have the suitable tool. I don't have the tool to do this. What do I need to, what do I need? Oh wait, I need a st uh, stone cutter? <laughs> I'm gonna use the sharpened rock to cut the coconuts down instead of the steel axe. That makes sense. Well, I don't wanna, you know, damage my axe anyway. 21% chance of injury? Oh, because it's dark. Oh, geez. Okay, you're not supposed to do that at night then. Well, let's go hunt some chickens. Let's just aim up a little bit. Oh, I hit the rock. Crap. I guess we're just eating coconuts tonight. Eat the coconut and drink the coconut water. Doing a lot better. I guess we gotta eat some eggs now to... Oh, geez. Only three food apiece and 8% indigestion chance, but... We've got the chamomile juice, so yeah, just go ahead and eat all these. Right, where's those chickens? Oh, my accuracy is so bad. Oh, finally I got one. Oh, level one throwing. Okay, so that's a skill too. Oh look, he came right to me. Oh, okay, while it's cloudy, let's do some movement over open terrain, and I'm gonna kind of go around right between these two big mountains and see what's on the other side there. Oh, there's one of those like nasty little wolverine things. You know what though? I'm gonna give it a try. Probably gonna regret this. Oh, got the kill. Shh, it's the short-eared dog. Oh, I've studied it now. All right, I'm kind of making my way over and it does look like there's um a dock or something down there. Oh, is that, is that a turtle? Take that. Oh, oh, he's got armor. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. Just go for headshots. There we go. I can put it on my shoulder. Oh, yuck. Oh, yeah, meat. Ooh, and it's gonna spoil. Okay, we just, let's try to cook all this. Oh, good. Got a fire started and a level two fire starting. Whoa, look at this. Roasted meat, roasted short-eared dog. <laughs> yep, roast him up. See if that gives me any sort of indigestion chance. I would imagine it would. Also, just um, roast up all the meat. That's gonna take all night. See, I wish you could um, set it and forget it, because that's, you know, I, I need to sleep tonight too, you know. The dog, okay, 3% into, th 13 food, that's ridiculous. 20 food for the regular roasted meat from the chicken and the turtle and everything else I've killed today. All right, well, fill up. Ah, the leaf stuff increases your sun protection. Oh, we definitely need that then. Craft the leaf hat. Oh. What is all this stuff? I just went to the character panel over here, and if I make all of this stuff, I get some kind of a reward. I don't know what the reward is, though. Okay, these are my action skills. These are, oh, survival abilities. Concentration, resist diseases, poison, thirst control, hunger control, better sleeping, learning, and alchemistry. And if I do these things, like crafting this palm juice collector, I can spend the point on survival abilities. Right, okay, I'm getting the hang of things here a little bit. We need a base. We, oh, geez, is that a whale carcass over there? We're basically at the southwestern corner of the island. And if you're gonna make a base, you gotta do it like centrally located. Okay, some free coconuts over there, and then I'm heading inland. Ha! Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Ow! You bastard! Okay, so that's like a snake tail. I guess we should do that because it might, yeah, unlock some recipes for us. There we go. Is this like a like a mine or a quarry or something? Ooh, what's that? Oh. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. Stone head interact. Ah. Oh, I got a perk point for something. Okay, of all the perk points, I think learning probably sounds the best. It gives a 10% earned skill points bonus. So, sure. Okay, our mission now is to... Craft. Oh, look, there's more structures up there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them up there. Okay, so uh, this would probably be a decent spot to set up a little bit of a campsite. Okay, so I've got a campfire site and a bed, and it's getting late. So I'm gonna harvest up a few more resources and get a good night's sleep. All right, coming off a full eight hours of sleep there. Excellent, got a good campfire here, made it with some stone. And the last thing I wanted to try to do is craft a storage container. And to do that, we are going to need six small sticks. Okay, large storage box, interact, place materials, build, 
takes an hour, interact, and start putting some stuff away here. For now, though, I gotta see what this uh, these buildings up here are all about. Hey, look at this, another head up here. Hey, seriously, though, what is going on here? There's, like, all kinds of buildings and stuff. Wow, could I, like, use this as my house? We press on. What's over here? Some stone, stone, st oh, stone deposit. Okay, there we go. Massive stones in there. Probably used for building, I would say. Oh, these, uh, Ocotillos, man, they are, they're just loaded with sticks. Nice. Okay, so I won't feel as bad if I uh, start a fire and use all my sticks. Man, this is just like winding its way all the way up the mountain. Okay, at the top of the bamboo tower. Whoa. Oh, look at the vantage point we can get from here. I wonder, because when, when we were in the tree, it said like it gave me the elevation. And I think maybe your elevation kind of dictates how far you can see for uh, cartography purposes. Oh my god, scorpions. Um, hang on. Stab. And stab. Okay, and pick up. New blueprints unlocked. What do I get? Processed scorpion venom uh, helps treat poisoning. <laughs> Let's just hope that we don't have to do that. that. We don't have to do that. Oh boy, entering a cave. Oh boy, it's like super dark in here, and I, I don't even know if I can make a torch. There's scorpions on the floor, so careful with that. Hello? It's, uh, it's definitely abandoned. Oh, look at the art on the walls. These are constellations. Holy cow. Ah, scorpion. Ah. Oh, another one. Another one. Oh, I shouldn't be in here. This is bad. What is this thing here? A uh, piece of a native's map. Okay, the natives had a map, and now it's going to help me fill in my map. Hopefully. Okay, who is this guy? <gasps> Improved torch. Got to use the fire starter. Here we go. Wait, I'm sick. Oh boy, uh, that's nice, right? Okay, dead Spaniard map. I got another map. Ooh, some kind of camp is marked here. Looks like the Spaniards were already here long before us. I thought I was a Spaniard. Well, anyway, wow, I didn't realize that the exploration part and the lore part was kind of as fleshed out as it is. This feels really, really good, I like it. Okay, really cool spot. Oh, let's head out here. There's more stuff out here. Ah, scorpion. Whoa, look at that! Look at this! Whoa! It's like a, like a, I don't know, it looks like a chicken head, some kind of a bird anyway. Whoa! Okay, what is this? Ancient observatory drawing. They were mapping the stars using various observation locations on the island. That's so cool! Oh, and, and do these point toward them, perhaps? <gasps> yes, I can see the arch over there. Okay, it's nighttime. And it's raining, so my options are sleep inside the cave with the scorpions or press on. Got a bird potion here, and this is uh, some native art. It's like a huge tablet that's been cracked in half, broken slab. Here we go. Song of the birds. Of the four tribes, the tribe of birds was the wisest. And some other stuff. Oh, hey! Water storage. I just found this little structure here. Clean water. That's so good because I'm so dehydrated right now. Yes, drink it all. Oh my goodness, I actually drank it all. Ow! Oh my god, was that a snake? Yes, I'm poisoned now. Oh, jeez! Oh, no, 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 okay. This place is way, way bad. I'm leaving. I'm poisoned. I, we need to get off this friggin' mountain now. I've had enough of this place. Oh boy, okay, so I'm back at the camp. My disease is worsening. Although I don't know exactly what disease I have. I know I'm poisoned, that's for sure. So, okay, yes, it's gonna progress to like, you know, pneumonia or something right now. It's probably upper respiratory. So we need some medicine. We need whatever this flower is here. And right, poisoning is level two. Should be able to make some processed scorpion venom, which is an antidote, I, I, I hope anyway. Okay, craft that. At least we'll take one step into the right direction. Here, apply. That has treated my poisoning, good. I'm not sure if treatment runs out after some time. Okay, if I had to guess, I think this is the medicine I need. I need hibiscus petals. Oh no, while I was up there, I forgot to do the map thing. Oh no, that's that's terrible. I see hibiscus though, it's right there. I can probably make my way over there here at night. Okay, I got the flower, the hibiscus flower, and I have returned. I also got bit by scorpions and snakes along the way, so that might come back to haunt me a little bit. There you go. Level three fire starting, so that's, you know, good. We gotta get practice anyway. Here we go, craft the hibiscus flower antidote thing and consume. Ah, there we go. Feeling much better now. Except I'm hungry, thirsty, and exhausted, and I 
there's not much I can do about that. I can, I can cook some food, I guess. Okay, so while I'm cooking, I've lost a positive status, and so my vital sign estimate has changed. Let's have a look. Nope. Okay, so top left, I don't think any... Oh, no, I have the level one for both poisoning and my sickness. So maybe I need more hibiscus petals and more processed scorpion venom and we will apply both of those. Yes, they're gone now. I still have a little bit of a sunburn, and otherwise I, I'm kind of screwed. I got this bird potion, which gives me the ability to see animals through obstacles, but um, we're good on animals for now. What we need is more water. Yeah, there's gotta be something I can drink inland here, I would think. Oh, snake there, so watch out for that guy. Maybe just kind of take care of him. Can I, there we go, okay, another one. He's pretty durable, I guess. Ow! Okay, I'm, I'm done. Oh, I'm poisoned to level two again. You bastard! Just get a vantage point here. Oh, here we go. Another side of the island. Le well, we should go down there anyway. I can see some coconut trees. There should be plenty of coconuts to, to rehydrate with. Oh, look, a big bird's nest up here. Bird nest, the, the last one had like eight eggs in it. Here we go. Just, yep, take all. Oh, an animal is hunting me. Ah! Whoa! Holy crap! It's like, what animal? I can see that now. Thank you very much. Here we go. Do I risk it? Yeah, I think I'll be good. There we go. And I can also hear a wolverine. Oh, there he is up there. Okay. Uh, on second thought, can I? Yeah, the, I need these trees, so we should probably just kill them and get it over with. All right, here we are. We're getting into coconut territory. Okay, there we go. We should have plenty of coconut water now. I suppose it's time for a leaf skirt. Still looking for a chest piece belt Oh, did I, did I never make the sandals? I don't think I did. There we go, we can make the sandals. And, um, oh, this is Liana. Liana must be an important resource. Liana rope, yeah. I just haven't found it yet. Also, is that maybe what's required for... No, the, uh, the fishing rod requires tendon, thread, and bone. I... I, I think I've killed all the animals I've encountered so far, so there must be more somewhere that uh, maybe perhaps are a little bit bigger, like a like a deer or something. I don't know. I'm gonna set up a little tent here and we're gonna finally get a full night's sleep. Okay, massive tree over there. Is that the one that I've... No, no, that's a different massive tree, so... Oh look, pride rock. Uh... Animal. Hello? Oh, jeez! No! Oh, that might be where we get the animal tendons from. Coyote! Or, I don't know what the hell that is. Hurting me bad, though. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here if I can't kill him. I got him. Oh my god, it's a jackal. Ah, the bird! No, no, no! Okay, get me out of this freaking inventory. Get the thing. And here we go. Okay, I'm running, running, running. He's not giving up. Here we go. One shot at this. There we go. Okay, this nest should be good. I killed the occupant, so we can grab anything that's in there. It's cloudy now. Grab up the jackal. There we go. Okay, we got some new blueprints unlocked. Does that include the fishing pole? There was one thing I was missing. No, the bone. And I don't know what animal drops the bone. Okay, well, anyway, I think this was a nice expedition to come out here, but probably we'd be better off going home. Oh, look at that over there, though. That's like a stone archway. Hang on a second. I'm soaking wet now. Probably do you a little bit of good to take a bath once in a while, though. Okay, here we go. This is some kind of a bridge that goes up here. Okay, we need to check this out for sure, then. This might be one of the arches that uh, we saw kind of like up on the mountain there when we were up there. Here we go, wall carving piece number three. Put in the inventory, that sounds heavy. No, it's actually not in my inventory. Whoa, look out for that guy. Here we go. Just uh, casually kill you. It's too bad you can't get the anti-venom off of these guys, at least that I know of. Yeah, snake tail is used to make dried snake tails, which I think is used for fishing. Oh, some kind of a potion up here. Living water. Uh, I can't really find what that was or, or what it did for me. Another wall carving. Oh, that must be like puzzle pieces, right? For like an achievement. Okay, let's go inside. Aha. Whoa, cool. Obsidian shard. Feather. The native map. Bone, perfect. F oh, we're going fishing. We're totally going fishing. Fish bones. Another wall piece. Oh, there's some liana. Good, wow, okay, this is really productive over here. Uh, wall carving. Oh, I just put the pieces in. And there's a couple more missing. Oh, okay, so that's some kind of like a 
a task that we have to do. We gotta fill in those and find out what happens. Are you kidding me? No, no, I'm gonna die. Can we get it? There you go. Okay, so I'm at a pretty high elevation now. Let's see if I can do any sort of mapping. Current elevation or altitude, I should say, is 41. So I can actually, my mapping range right now is 122. This will take me three hours. And, oh, there you go. So it doesn't have to be a tree. It can really be anywhere. Oh, that makes me want to climb up the mountain again. Okay, let's go up this portion right here. It does look like there's a path going up there. Okay, that's good. Yep, let me through here. I don't want to stab myself because I'm, I'm really close to death already. Oh, here we go. Ancient monument. Another perk point. Resist diseases. That doesn't sound half bad. Yeah, let's do that. I've got one more, I guess. Let's do it again. Oh, not enough. It's going to take two. How about better sleep? Raw clay pot. New blueprints for that. Ooh, potion over here. Ooh, bones. Yes, yes, bones. Oh, I said we we're gonna go fishing, but I forgot. All right, just more stone deposits up here. It's kind of miserable right now. Okay, really the only thing I wanted to do up here was just check the map. I'm kind of lost right now and the weather is too foul for me to really do anything. Mapping range is currently 363, altitude 121, so we can start the process. No, I don't have the charcoal. And it's raining, so I can't make any. Oh, right. Now now I don't remember <laughs> the way home. Crap. I don't even know where I am. Okay, so I made it back to the base camp, and I was just doing some crafting there. And uh, I increased my medicine skill by crafting those bandages, which might mean... Uh, no, they don't really do very much still. And I'm, like, so close to death. I even almost drowned on the way back here. I didn't realize, whoops, that you had to uh, have stamina to swim. It, who'd have thought, right? Okay, chronically dehydrated as well. Um, there's just gotta be a way to store water that I, I haven't quite figured out yet. Okay, let's try to do a little bit of fishing then. Animal tendons, resources, tendon thread. Are you kidding me? I have to use the tanner workbench for this. Oh, man. How do I make that? Machines. Okay. Whoa. Ooh. Cart. Skin dryer. Carpentry workbench. Log cart. Wow. Coconut rainwater collector. So I don't even see the option for the tanner workbench. Vessels. Oh, there's a new... Oh, okay. So before I only had access to see the raft, now I can see the canoe. Maybe it's that, like, you have to have at least one recipe, or one item of the recipe in order to see the item. And so I don't have any of the required components for the tannery station, and so I can't make it. I can't even see uh, what it takes to make it, that is. Holy crap, man, there's a lot, a lot to this game. Way more, look, obsidian saw? There's just so much more than I originally thought. Uh, this, this, I mean, there's gotta be a ton of gameplay. Like, we haven't even gotten into any of the building options. We've got walls, walls with windows, doors, staircases, pillars, ladders, foundation. It's crazy. This is like Sons of the Forest, except um, the building and crafting system is way more complex. There's way more to discover. I mean, the game looks good. It's got a nice art style to it. It feels good and performs good. The combat is bad, I will put it that way. But anyway, my friends, this game is releasing into early access on April 19th. I don't know what the price will be. You can pick it up yourself, give it a try. I highly recommend it, honestly. I'm thrilled. If you guys want to continue the story, you want to explore the building system, find out where the survivors are and see who made all of these paintings and murals everywhere then stick around and let me know in the comments below leave a like on the video it just helps me figure out what content people want to see and hopefully i'll catch you all in the next video but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night hey everyone i just wanted to say thank you for watching for leaving a like but most of all thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here i hope this episode has earned your subscription and i can't wait to show you the next one best wishes to all and goodbye